Rick here. Uh, quick video today, just taking a look at some of these leaks that came up to us from 1414 Falcon Fan over on Instagram. And I'm also on Instagram if you guys would like to leave me a follow. I did just make a poll on there to ask you guys' opinions on a mock. But anyways, let's get into these leaks. Um, so obviously take these with a grain of salt because we're not sure how accurate uh, these can be. Uh, they are just rumors after all, so don't really uh, put a whole lot into them. But anyways, so according to 1414 Falcon Fan, actually, um, this, not sure how to pronounce that, but LEGO Star Wars will be getting anniversary figures in 2024 for the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. So this is very similar to what they gave us with the 20th anniversary figures for uh, Star Wars back when it was the 20th anniversary. So we will be getting a Arc Trooper 5s and a Darth Malak minifigure. Arc Trooper 5s will be in the Tantive, while Darth, Darth Malak will appear in the R2-D2 set. Not really sure how I feel about these. I think they are kind of just random um, minifigures for that. I don't know. They don't really seem to have like a recurring theme at all. Like, I guess they're just doing desired minifigures or something. But, I don't know. I think it's just kind of weird that they're doing that. I did like what they did with the first ones with the classic designs. Like, just redone. I think that was really cool. But, this is interesting too. So, let's move on to the next one. So, the first set we have here is the Invisible Hand, supposedly uh, selling for $52.99. Pretty weird price point there. Usually they round to the nearest tenth or whatever, but it should have 557 pieces, 30 centimeters long, and it comes with the stand, nameplate, and the LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Brick. And the front half can be separated from the rear, and a small hanger for the Jedi Starfighter, so it will be able to uh, break in half and... Obi-Wan can still fly half a ship, which I think is a pretty neat little inclusion for this set. I think that's really cool. Um, it is going to be in that midi sale scale like they made with the uh, Star Destroyer from last year or this year. I don't remember when that came out, but that should look pretty cool. I'm excited to uh, see that one when the pictures come out. And maybe it would be cool like to get a new Gunray, uh, General Grievous, Anakin, Palpatine, whatever. I think they could do a lot of good figures with that. But moving on to the next two, we have the Tantive with 654 pieces and around uh, $69.99, so about $70. 32 centimeters long compared to the Invisible Hand, just 2 centimeters longer. And it will come with a stand, nameplate, and the LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Brick. Um, I think this one would really benefit from a um, Bill Organa, because that minifigure is very expensive ever since the first Tantive that he appeared in, retired, he's the only, that's the only time he appeared in a Lego set. So I think that would be a great inclusion if they do decide to do a minifigure with this. But moving down here to the Millennium Falcon, this is going to have 291 pieces, no, wait, 921 pieces for around $80, 25 centimeters wide, with a stand nameplate in Lego Star Wars 25th Anniversary Brick. Now, I kind of assumed that the it would be like a mini play scale set. I think they're going to go with the um, midi scale route, with the, like the Tantive and that Star Destroyer. It would be cool to see what they would do for $80 for a play scale Money and Falcon. I just don't think they could reasonably do that with, you know, price points and everything. But that would be really cool. But I think this is going to be a midi display uh, set. It would be cool if this did come with a minifigure like Han Solo or Chewbacca. I feel like those would definitely be a, be a must for a set like this, because it is the Millennium Falcon after all. But moving on to the final one, we have R2-D2 with 1,050 pieces for $100, and it's going to be about 24 centimeters high with a movable head, third leg, periscope, and different tools. The information plaque and R2-D2 and Darth Malak minifigures. I think this is so weird that just including these random minifigures, you know, like a Chrome C-3PO would have been much more fitting because it is R2-D2. I just don't really get it. I mean, cool if they do it, but I don't know. And next we have the Tantive Hallway with 502 pieces, 54.99, and 22 centimeters high. Multiple copies can be attached, featuring levers to blast 
open the doors and topple characters. It will be coming with a Darth Vader, two Stormtroopers, Captain Antilles, two Rebel Fleet Troopers, and the Arc Trooper Fives. So I think that's pretty interesting. They're including Fives in this. I just don't really know why. Like, I think there could be a better choice if they want to go with this kind of, like, special anniversary route or whatever. Like, I don't know. Give us a Princess Leia or something. I don't know. Like, I think they're better things. And I just... Fives wasn't even around in this era. I mean, I do think it's kind of weird. But, I don't know. They're not really, like... With the original 20th anniversary minifigures, they were, like, symbolic in that way that they were the minifigures that existed for that first wave and everything, and the first appearance of those characters. But these are just kind of, like, characters you kind of wanted, but they could be included in their own sets. Like, they could totally make a set with uh, fives, you know? Like, that could be done. They're just not going to, I guess. And that's kind of weird to me. But that's all the rumors that we have. I am going to just come down here to this Avengers Tower um, rumor. So I don't have to make a whole video on it. But the Avengers Tower, about $525. Um, so that's going to be pretty pricey. More expensive than the Daily Bugle with 5,201 pieces, November 24th, 2023. And... I'm really excited for this one. I actually did make a comment right here, but yeah. Should be really tall too. Really hope this is the biggest Lego modular. Not Lego modular, the Marvel modular we get. I really think this deserves to be the biggest Marvel set ever. Just because of what it is. It is the Avengers Tower, like it's the Avengers, you know. And do get some um details on what it's going to look like. And it does come with a Leviathan, Quinjet, and two Chachari chariots and 31 minifigures we've already seen three of them we've seen the wasp we've seen kevin feige and we've seen one of the iron legion minifigures so that does leave us with a bunch more i mean obviously we're gonna get tony stark captain america thor black widow like all the core avengers so i mean we might get a loki as well you know who really knows so i'm really excited for this set can't wait to see the official pictures and stuff when those come out it's going to be coming out on the 24th so we should be getting pictures in a few weeks. Probably by two weeks from now, we'll at least see some leaked pictures. I can't wait to cover those here on my channel, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I do believe that is going to do it. Um, I did just make a poll on Instagram if you want to um, participate in that about a Batman minifigure. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about these leaks in the comments section down below. If you're excited to get the supposed fives and the um darth malik minifigure i think they're pretty interesting i'm really excited to see what they look like and if we're going to be getting any more if these are just going to be two different um these are just going to be two minifigures we're just going to randomly get for some reason but that's all i have to say for this um uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to be making some more videos a lot of cool stuff on the way and i'll see you guys next time bye